Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Order to Reforma Craft. So now that I have access to a quite decent amount of nickel, I definitely want to do the whole progression today from yeah, steel to black steel, then also if there's time left to red and blue steel, so we can maybe also make a bucket. It's gonna be the highlight of the episode, but first let's actually do something else. I took, if you look at my inventory, the last of my copper ingots, so very still got crushed copper left over for some alloys, and turn it into sheets. So after sheets, we can actually craft the copper blocks. There we go. Oh, we get a whole bunch of them. Okay, that's that's a very good amount of copper blocks, I'd say. Because I want to finally actually finish the roof of the main building here. So the idea is a gas slab, so it's still a bit cheaper than full on stairs that I put a yeah, slab layer here on top of this part. Then maybe we actually split it up. Also, I have a copper roof here, and here I might need to actually build up a little bit higher. Um, if we get some Kaolinite later, can expand the blast furnace. I definitely want to have some automation, so some sort of a system that probably will require a bit of redstone on the side to drop in the materials automatically into the blast furnace. All right, but we'll do that later. Yeah, now let's actually put it on a couple of copper slabs. Oh, there's one more decision I need to make. Wax copper or the normal copper that turns green over time. Definitely gonna go with the copper that turns green because it's just more fun to watch and I think also it looks better in the end. But we can make wax copper, so just FYI. There is no bees in this, but we can use tallow in a spout, 40 millibuckets, turn a block of copper into wax copper. Well, that's the last. I probably should have waited a while until I had more copper to finish this, but at least we got started now. So right now it's actually not a lack of copper that really stops me from finishing this. It's mostly a lack of clay or ingot molds to make more ingots. I think I have like 300 ingot molds left. That's enough to actually just make the steel we need. Now let's continue with some iron making and improving yeah, the process of iron making. Uh, so first, intermediate goal would be to make some black steel. What is black steel? It's actually just a pig iron ingot combined with a weak steel ingot. You can see it here. You can do this on the anvil and then later also here with the compacting machine. Okay, we know where to get pig iron from. That's the first thing that comes out of your blast furnace. What about a weak steel ingot? So that's actually an alloy made out of black bronze. So gold, silver and copper. Nickel, that's why we needed it plus steel. All right, then we just combine it in the end and get the black steel ingot. Problem right now is we are really low on steel and in the long run we're gonna need a lot of that stuff for the train tracks and so on. I actually wanna improve the process a little bit. So right now uh, we pump out the pig iron out of the blast furnace or the crucible, put it into the ingot molds and then send it back up and get the pig iron out at the chest at the top. Now, of course, it would be awesome if I wouldn't need to you know, take the pig iron, carry it over here to the machine and hammer it into the you know, steel or the high carbon steel first and then steel. We could do that all in one go. So I was thinking here at the output, we could add a tunnel to a filter that sends the pig iron, if we actually wanted it to, uh, to a yeah, separate, I guess, deployer for hammer again that hammers the pig iron and we get steel out and send that stuff back. And optionally, a train track assembling machine. So we would have two switches, so we can select, we wanna make train tracks immediately right off the, out of the stuff we get out of the blast furnace, or we want to just send the, the steel back up because we need it for mixing an alloy or so on. So I'm trying to set this up, but I'm struggling a little bit because no matter what I do, uh, the belts are going the wrong direction. So I already added the tunnel here so all the normal items, except the pig iron, should just go straight through. And if you have a pig iron, it should go to the right. Okay, here we got a clutch, so the whole yeah, pig iron working system should be hooked up to the clutch, so it would only run if you actually need it. Yeah, right now I'm just struggling a little bit, hooking up the belts. It will always go the wrong direction. And so cramped here with the space, can't really squeeze a gear shift in there. I guess I gotta be a little bit creative and try to find a workaround for this problem. Oh boy, this was actually quite tricky to get to work somehow, but I think I squeezed it all in and it's still 
at least halfway presentable. It doesn't look that bad. Okay, um, so this is the uh, lever here that activates the clutch that decides if you want to send the pig iron back up or if you want to send it into the depot here where it's getting hammered twice. Then we take the steel and get out with the filter here and put it into the chest there. Uh, we immediately take it out again with the, the funnel and send it then back up to storage with the belt system. Or we actually activate this switch and then we power this funnel and this one gets activated and then the items would go to the train track building system that I haven't added yet, but let's actually try out the steel making first. Oh, here it comes. Okay. Getting hammered twice. It goes so fast as it already took out the steel. Yep, there goes. Okay, it's so fast. So we get four in a batch. So we just check. There's the fourth one. If we just have four steel at the top, it goes so fast that yeah. seems to work. Let's check the chest. No! <laughs> Someone got stuck. Oh no. Uh, what happened? Oh, so this doesn't work? Ah, oh, that's really unfortunate. Kinda assumed it would. Oh, this doesn't get powered anymore. It does work. Um, I guess a belt got removed. Easy fix. Yeah, there we go. And now it should be in a chest up there. Yeah, sweet. All right, automatic stealing it's now. I'd say while we're at it, adding machines, let's go for the train track maker right away. So you can use those steel ingots immediately to make train tracks. So let's take a look. The train track maker. So we need to supply smooth slabs. I'd say I'm just gonna put the storage there because it takes me one minute to make like a thousand of those. Uh, so that's really not the problem, but the other steps would be quite nice to add immediately. So we need to yeah, put the slab into the depot, but then we need to add the steel rods to the deployer on top. Yeah, in order to get the steel rods, we just need to saw the steel ingot in half and get two steel rods. So that should be actually quite straightforward. So the saw here, then a belt that goes a bit upwards to a deployer, and then just a storage on the side that supplies exactly one smooth slab to the depot. Hopefully that's something that's done automatically. Otherwise we might need to set this up. And then just a filter on the other side takes out four train tracks. Yep, that should be doable. Oh, we also need to press it. So the first step, and then we need to press it. I think I made some really good progress and installed the train track maker. This went really smooth, hardly ran into any issues setting it up. So it just worked out with like the direction, the belts were spinning and everything wasn't too hard. The only issue I had was I actually jumped twice into the saw while <laughs> trying to place blocks that died twice actually. It's kind of dangerous here. Um, but apart from that, yeah, worked out. I still got four steel ingots on me. We could try it out. So we can also run this without the blast furnace, I believe. Uh, the ingots might just come in way faster. Okay, let's just try it out. Let's put them in there. Okay, get the iron rods. There should... No, the steel rods. Where are they, though? Two steel rods. Is that about filter? Was it unnecessary? I'm pretty sure the saw can also put stuff directly onto the belt. Um, let's then just take this. There we go. Okay. Here we got one incomplete track. Um, so it doesn't work. What's the issue right now? Do we need to set up a filter? Is it probably it only did one step, right? That's the issue. Yes, okay, one incomplete track. I don't think we can actually set up NBT sensitivity just with this normal filter item. Just gonna change the direction here real quick and set up a filter where we select this option here, respect data. Okay, click it in there and try again. Yep, let's see what happens. Okay, six steel rods available. Oh, I forgot to change the direction again. 
Yeah, that looks a lot better. That does look a lot better. There we go, train tracks. Okay, I just got a couple incomplete ones. In, whoops. Can throw those on there. And what about those? Uh, not gonna bother. Okay, they can despawn. Alright, then, next attempt is setting up the blast furnace and see if... Yeah, we get train tracks automatically from the blast furnace output. And here we go. The steel. Steel rods. Train tracks. Go in the chest, it goes so quick. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> The limiting effect is definitely the spout here, or how fast you can actually get to pick iron in the first place. Well, seems to work. Oh, this is amazing. This was actually so much work to do it manually. And now we can directly hook it up. Oh, this is awesome. Alright, everything is working now. 96 train tracks. Awesome. I got the feeling before I continue, I should definitely make sure that I have enough ingot molds. So it would be quite annoying running out of ingot molds while I'm trying to make black or blue steel. So I'm gonna just head out and dig up some clay, like one of the first things we did. But right now it's necessary. Uh, I already put a lot of dirt into the, the machine here, but I just need so much to actually get an ingot mold out of that. Yeah, I think digging up clay is probably the, the best to get at least maybe 200 more of those. So how much do we have at the moment? It's about 500? Yeah, I'm gonna mine the rest here and then we should head back home. I actually got some more on the way back, so this should last for a while. Okay, let's turn this on. Oh boy, time is actually flying! So while I was in the basement doing redstone or create stuff, the cows actually gave birth. I missed it by a day or two. Let's check if you have bulls only again. So we got a cow at least, that's good. Cow, bull, then bull, cow, bull, and cow. Four cows, three bulls. That's pretty good. So some of them have familiarity 90. Those came from the cows that had 100. So that's really good. No decay at all. And the others are 13. So I guess I missed it by a day or two. Okay, let's get some food from the house and bring them over to this uh, separate enclosure. Also, I really don't think we need to automate this any further, so the cows give birth maybe once a year and then it takes two years for the cows to grow up. That's like literally more than 100 hours of playtime. I guess if I would make a fully automatic farm somehow that separates the cows from the adults, use deployers to feed them and whatnot, automatically get them into the <laughs> system where they get milked, I think it would be just, yeah, maybe be interesting, but it's a bit much effort for a little gain. Yeah, so it's really easy. Get the cows out this way. Oh. Just attach it again. Okay, one more. The other one, of course, runs back. Uh, deal with that guy later. Let's get those over. Okay. Seven leads. I guess luring them would have also worked. This is also kind of nice. See? There we go. We get eight cows actually. Almost looks like it. Yeah. The one that ran back. No, it was only using six leads, that's why. Okay. No, it must have been eight cows actually. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So eight new ones and the one I had in there already. Okay, two cows. Three. Five cows in total. Sweet. Okay, then I'll feed the familiarity 100 cows again to get them pregnant. And the familiarity 35, so the wild cows. I'll just get them over to the milking setup. Here, I think I had one more. It's a bull. A bit confusing. Fertilized already. That was quick. Bull. I think it was actually a smaller one. Ah, there it is. Okay. Then I just need to get the other four. Yeah, I'm also pretty sure it would be easier to have each cow in a separate boat, so they would be really easy to handle, but 
I think it just looks nicer this way. Alright, so let's get the other three to the milking setup. I guess... Yeah, four more cows, the tank wouldn't even be enough, so we can milk those like 128 times. They got a little bit of wear and tear already, so we will get like 100 buckets of milk out of them. Yeah, 500 buckets of milk, oh my god, that's like 4,000 sweet rolls. It's like we're good on, on food for a while. And we're pumping milk again. It works, awesome. Alright, so the cows are taken care of, at least for the day. Now every day I actually gotta run over there and feed the babies. Anyway, let's continue with the black steel. So what did I need again? I think it was black bronze, nickel and steel. So as I know, I'm a bit short on black bronze here. Probably need to make a batch of that first, like 40 ingots and then we can start. Still unknown, one left. Hope it's gonna work. Danger and black bronze. Perfect. Okay, now we can do the same, just this time for the weak steel. So 25% black bronze, 25% nickel, and 50% steel. And here we go. Can weld. Danger. White. Blin white. And weak steel. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it's black actually. Nice. And of course the filter isn't set up yet. Ah, uh, okay, gotta rush up. How much time do we have left? We need to keep this molten at least for a little bit longer till it's pumped out and set up the filter again. Okay, there we go. I can probably steal this one. It's also cold. <laughs> Perfect, okay. And we can turn it back on. It's also good to see that the tunnel works, so none of the items actually go to the right here. But since we don't mix steel right now, well, no pick iron, uh, we can just turn it off now. Ah, there's more pick iron, perfect. Okay, let's make a bit more black steel. So I already got it set up, the mechanical press, and fire below. Got some flux as well, just throw this in there. There you go, high carbon black steel ingot. Okay, that's also really convenient. This melts at brilliant white, like all the other iron and steel so far as well. So we can just heat it up in the second crucible with lignite, so it will never melt. Here we go, first batch is ready. I think I'm just gonna take like four out. Actually, it shouldn't be too complicated. It's hammering again. Uh, so the same as usual, and that's the black steel ingot. First of not too many, we mostly actually need black steel to make red and blue steel later. And we need to make the anvil of course. Okay, so there may be a simpler sequence. Ah, uh, not quite. But I'm sure I'll figure a better one out. Got a lot of attempts. Oh, I should have actually welded them together. True, could have done that immediately. Um, we need the double ingots. Ah, so I gotta heat those up again. Didn't think about it. Only cost a minute or two. It doesn't take too long to heat the stuff up. And welding is easy anyway. Okay, it's number seven. Then we can make the anvil again. Ah, it's too hot. For the crafting recipe or for the crafting book. There you go, black steel anvil. Okay, I'm also heating up one more high carbon steel ingot already. Just gotta hammer this into black steel. Okay, and then I can make my black steel hammer right away. There we go. Oh, <laughs> can only carry one at a time. Okay. There we go. Oh, we still have the wrought iron in. Well, well, gonna replace this one with the red one then, and there we go. And my recipe. Oh, that looks easy. Just shrink and punch. Um, shrink and punch. No, punch is here. So then we need like three hard hit, no, two hard hits, and then shrink and punch. Expertly forged. Okay, there we go. 
Then I just need to get a stick real quick. Oh, I actually moved him from the chest. That's why I had sticks in there. Make the tools immediately. Ah, well. Okay, let's get one from this chest then. And then we can actually work the other high carbon black steel ingots on the deployer. So just need to put the hammer in there. I heated some of those up, but yeah, they already cooled off again. And there we go, it's much better. Okay. 24 black steel ingots. So 24 black steel ingots is definitely good, but in case I want to actually progress to blue and red steel right away, I think I'm definitely gonna need a little bit more. Probably like two more batches of black steel ingots would be good. So we have like a hundred in total, and then we also need more normal steel again to actually make the red steel. So if you look at the recipe, so it's also again weak red steel. Yeah, we need 50% black steel, 20% steel, 10% rose gold, that's I think copper and gold, and 10% brass. So a lot of things again. And for the blue steel, similarly, yeah, we need a lot of black steel for this. So I think I'm gonna end the episode on a bit of a cliffhanger, because once we got blue and red steel, I also wanna make tools right away and armor and everything. Um, would be too much for an episode, I feel like, yeah. But we made good progress. So we got the yeah, automatic train track building system. That's gonna be a huge help in the long run. It would just be nice if you had a bit more kaolinite and a bigger blast furnace, but it's already nice already. Then we also made the black steel anvil and we got more cows now. Lots of milk incoming. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.